I'm Nisha Jones and I'm directing and designing Amadigi. My name is Christian Kernan and I'll be conducting Handel's Amadigi this summer at Garsington Opera. Amadigi is very rarely done, which is hard to understand because it's absolutely stunning. The music is amazing. It's very unusual in the fact that it only has four characters, all singing with a high voice. Um, and it's basically a quadrangle of love. It makes for an incredible, ethereal, immersive, imaginative sound world. Um, and it's really kind of showstopper after showstopper. It's very virtuoso. And then you have the kind of Baroque excitement of spirits and enchanted lords and ladies, and these things that are fun to play with on stage. It is very unusual for Handel as well that there's no subplots going on. We just have this one narrative that continues all the way through, which is really exciting and makes this incredible sort of journey that we go through with the characters. It's one of his so-called magic operas. So it features theoretically sorceresses and um, extraordinary scene changes. But it's very unlike the other later magic operas because actually what it deals with is human emotions. I think the differences in a magic opera by Handel are more to do with the symphonias and the overtures that he puts in. He actually has two overtures in this for the special stage effects. But I think Handel basically it's the strength of his writing for the characters themselves. Nobody's, nobody's a caricature. We have an amazing cast and they have all very juicy, meaty parts. As I say, each and every one of them is the principal. We have um, an incredible uh, contralto, Sonia Ranya, playing uh, the, the role of Amadigi. Um, and so this is that exciting idea of the trouser role. The idea of gender is quite blurred and we have the amazing encounter tenor, Tim Mead, um, who has one of the most beautiful arias ever written. We have the amazing soprano, Anna Devon, and here this part of Melissa, the sorceress, um, is, is extremely um, dramatic. And we have the wonderful Rian Lois, who's playing, in fact, in a way, the most sane person on the stage. We definitely have an extraordinary array of characters here. The orchestra is the English concert, which is one of the world's finest Baroque orchestras. Many would say the finest. It's phenomenally good. And it's really exciting to think about how they're going to sound in there. The gut strings, uh, the period uh, woodwind, the uh, natural trumpets, the harpsichord, the lute. It's going to provide a very different sort of energy and a different sound to a modern orchestra. It's an incredible delight and a challenge to work at Garsington because you're dealing with the actual elements. So you never quite know what the exterior world, which is part of our interior world, will be offering up. We're working in a glass box. And so it's almost like working outside. It makes it very beautiful. And the aleatoric or chance nature of the environment comes into play. Well, I'm looking forward to working in that wonderful theater which is sublime, I think. I think it's like a giant opera house descended from space into this gorgeous garden. Um, it has a wonderful orchestral pit, which appeals to me. It has a lovely wide stage. And most of all, it's very intimate. It has this, not a huge amount of audience in there, which makes it a wonderful experience for people. So if I had to sum up Amadigi in three words, that would be easy. It would be beautiful, surprising, and sublime.